And uh, anyway, welcome everyone. Welcome to the reader report. I forgot to hit the record button before I even started. Isn't that terrible? I was supposed to stop to YouTube. Everyone's like, oh, Rita's here. We thought Rita was gonna die. Am I dead? No, I'm right here. I got my coffee. I'm finally here. Um, I'm smoking my vape about to get high. I mean, honestly, this is the type of people we have watching the show. I tell people, don't smoke weed. Stay away from it. It's going to hurt your brain. Be, engine, be an engineer or something like that. And they just smoke weed on the show. They want, they, that's what makes them want to smoke weed and watch the show. So maybe Dea would show up. Dea would say, oh, Rita, you're watching whatever. You know what I mean? You're, you're, you're doing, what are you doing? I'm going to like, what, what's Vex got going on in here? Uh, maybe you can have these emojis on kick. Oh. Oh wait, he just oh he just sent me this message. Okay, good. He saw me start up. I uh I'm gonna get those added later. When we're a little bit chiller. We're a little bit chiller. We're in the reader report mode. So what's going on with the reader report? Lizzo. Lizzo's getting sued. I don't really have I was you could probably see I was on Twitter and I was trying to like write articles so then I could kind of just like review that on on uh on the stream, which I plan to do. This is really what I plan to do. So beyond that, beyond that, I have, you know, I've been away for a while. I've been away for like 10 days, you know, and that wasn't my anticipation. I just got, honestly, I was in a mode where I was just kind of overwhelmed. I had, I hadn't taken a break in like months and I burnt out. And honestly, I was concerned about today. I didn't think I would show up today because I felt kind of burnt out still. I don't feel burnt out, but I would still feel like there's, there's stuff that I want to get done. I want to achieve things in my life. And the thing is, like, I just can't achieve these things in my life because I always got to come serve you guys. I got to come watch you. I got to come give you, be your entertainment. And I'm like, listen, I'm trying to save the world out here. Content's coming. The content is coming. So, you know, but beyond that, at least I'm not getting sued. I'm not like Lizzo. Lizzo's getting sued. It's not terrible. Imagine being Lizzo and getting sued. So she's getting sued for the, the usuals, you know extortion or maybe not extortion it's something like you know humanly endangerment and sexual harassment all that kind of stuff i have it written down here we'll get to it later but beyond that she's getting sued for body shaming so that's something to be scared of because i look at that and i say okay every day in the normal day i body shame people essentially every day of my life that's that's what i do that's my entire rapport this is kind of what happened to leafy so i mean i'm thinking here i'm like you know liz is getting banned getting sued for body shaming why we get sued will i get sued for body shaming will otaku come out here wrestling otaku oh when, when they unionize twitter or youtube or whatever and i'm some sort of like partner worker with this man they're gonna sit here and tell me oh you body shamed, you made fun of Otaku, you can't, you can't do that. Meanwhile, I know there's a video that came out. I'm gonna have to watch it. That's that's after the reader report segment. But we're moving to that part. I knew it would be easy today because the thing is, like, it's it's easy to have a show when you haven't had a show for a while because you have all this stuff built up, you have a lot of things to talk about, a lot of things have happened. And I was sitting there every day, like, writing down, oh, this news article, I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna come back tomorrow, I'm gonna come back for my break because I was supposed to come back on Thursday. But I don't know. I just got a little bit under overwhelmed and I was trying to do all the stuff and I was trying to, you know, work, negotiate with Hex and I was trying to talk to him about things, trying to get things fixed up, trying to get the merch store online. Meanwhile, Hex sent me some stuff. I don't know. We're going to have to look at the chat here in a second. Uh, I'll get there and I'll get the, the chat in a second. But beyond that, beyond that, I already, I'm already losing focus. Got to stay focused. Uh, Thing is, what I need to do is attack things sort of in block. So it's like I'm attacking this intro. I'm trying to get the intro. You guys haven't seen me in forever. A lot of easy content. Really not difficult beyond that. So whatever. Um. Anyway, let me catch up. What's going on? What's going on with me and my life? I kind of just took some took took it back. You know, I came home and played some Grand Theft Auto and. Just hung on my Xbox a little bit. Was working on. You guys can see I've moved the things around too. I'm not. I don't have. No longer have the bookcase behind me. I did that for longevity because I looked at things and I noticed that eventually, because I put this stuff in front of the radiator, I'm gonna have to like you know 
move this stuff around. What I, oh, I haven't even talked about the other story that I was going to get into. The other story I'm going to get into, Canada, well, let me get, see, I'm getting distracted already, but Canada is banning news outlets. So, like, if you're just a news outlet now, you have to work, you have to circumvent yourself through, like, a, a main, like, a major business or whatever. Honestly, I didn't get to read all the details. That one I'm a little bit less informed on, so I will probably get into that more tonight, write an article, maybe we'll get more in-depth with it tomorrow. Uh, what else is happening? I wrote some stuff down. You know, but anyway, yeah, new setup. Before we move off, move before I go over a briefing of the summary of what's going on right now, the currents and all that stuff, the background, I think, is better. And it's going to be better for longevity. Because I have one of those, you guys are in Pennsylvania, and no one's ever been in Pennsylvania, but we have these, like, what is known as, like, it's like Pittsburgh houses. But they always have these radiators, these really long radiators. I can't really show it to you, but it's over here in my, my bookcase that's right in front of it. Like, just square right in front of it. So I knew that I was eventually, when it got warm, I was going to have to move it. So I said, all right, well, you know, I kind of want it to be a little bit more up. I think when it's directly in my face, it's not a good look. It's not a very good look for me. Um, but we're working on it, you know? So I thought, and I looked at this, and I thought it looked better. You can look at the OBS. Um, I think I need to be a little bit more positioned. But we'll get the position down, all right? I think I'm, like, sitting over here kind of behind this or whatever, but... Whatever, it's their reader report. This isn't supposed to be chill. So beyond that, I don't care about that. What else is going on before I move into the Lizzo business? What's going on? Because I wrote a bunch of stuff down. Uh, where's my OneNote? My OneNote has all this stuff on it that I need. Ah, let's see. Niger, okay. Oh, I didn't even read about that one. Niger, apparently there's some sort of, you know, coup you know, going on that they're trying to, like, overthrow the government or something. I don't know really look at that too much don't be hating on me and uh what's the way else i got in here x hating bring back twitter whatever yeah no that's the thing is like i'm you know it's another thing is i think that, i think that's what happened really is i blame my sort of away time on on elon because when i came back or when i came back that, what happened was when i stopped streaming was the like essentially the, the day he turned it into x and i was like it's, I honestly don't feel the same being on the platform. I feel like everything's changed, but at the same time, it still works and functions the same. I don't even get the point of changing it. It's like, you know, there's Google, but then there's Alphabet, you know, and really there's just Alphabet. They just call it Google still because it's just more lucrative. So the thing is, like, to sit there and why you would change it to X, I just don't get it. I just don't. And if you call me a hater, that's fine, but whatever. So the X stuff, it is kind of killing me. I don't think there's really much more to talk about. It's everyone on the internet. Everyone on X. There's some people that have already given over. They've already turned over a whole new leaf. They're already like, oh, I'm going to turn myself over. I'm an X supporter now. I call it X. These people are a joke. These people are a literal joke. You want to come out here and you want to support X. That's what you want to do with your life? I'm going to support X. That's like supporting threads, okay? This is like, a, this is like supporting... It's almost as bad as supporting threads. And I just won't call it that. You know, I'll even show you on my phone. You see this? See that right there? You see that big guy? That's Twitter. Okay? I still have a Twitter app. If you're not on the Twitter app, you just don't get it. Like, that's the thing. It's like, you're still out here. You're still out here doing your whole... Ever all that nonsense. I'm looking for my sunglasses because we have some hater moments going on. Is there sunglasses in here? I'm gonna get the sunglasses on eventually because we know that they're funny. So let's go. Anyway, beyond that, I'm not really gonna get into. I'm not gonna like focus on what's going on. You guys are talking in the chat. Anyway, before I get into the well, actually, Deo said something. Um, let's see. I'm gonna read the. I'm gonna read the chat real quick. Let's not get distracted. Make sure it's focusing on what's going on. Uh, if you're being body shamed by Lardo and taking it seriously, that's your problem. Oh, uh, yeah, well, apparently she was making fun of what's, I, what I like about this is that I think the, the, the way they wrote it seemed more so in the vein of, like, this woman was thin and they're trying to call her out because she's thin shaming. She's not fat shaming. She's thin shaming. That's why they say it is body shaming because... That would destroy the narrative. They say, oh, she was making, this fat girl was making fun of her because she was thin. I 
mean, really, do you need, honestly, you just made me help, you help me realize what's actually going on. Yeah, um, is that if you're going to thin shame me, you know, I mean, if they see it like that, like, oh, thin shaming, like, why are you, know, honestly, why are you beat up over being called thin? Like, I look at Lizzo, she makes fun of me for being skinny, not committed. What she said is she said, oh, you look like you're not committed to the role I wrote. I read that in the article or whatever. So, I feel like it's so much better when I read the article prior to the stream and instead of kind of reading it on stream. I can, then I, what I was going to plan to do is just write threads, and that would be, you can kind of interpret the threads as either, you read the threads on Twitter, and that'll be the episode on, and I think that, that most people do that. So they write their entire kind of sketch out on Twitter, then they come out, they talk about that all day, so. I don't know what to tell you. I hope so, we'll get some good clips. I don't know if I'm doing any clip-worthy kind of stuff, you know? I don't know what to tell you. So, I'm going to like... Fix my dress or whatever. I know. Me fixing my dress. I know. I don't even wear dresses. I'm gonna tell you, outside of these shows, I don't really wear dresses. Maybe I'll stop wearing dresses on the show because it's kinda gay. To be honest with you, if you wear a dress, it's kinda gay. Okay? It's kinda like having sex with women it is kinda gay. I thought about the other day and I was like, we're not I mean having sex in general is gay. Having sex with men is gay, and having sex with women is gay. This is true. I mean, like, I, I saw someone, I saw one of the most, in the, you know, I saw, of course, a big contributor to the influence of the show saying something like that. Like, they rag him for this. They rag him for saying that. It's true, though. If you're having sex, it's pretty much gay. But, I mean, honestly, you should limit the amount of sex you're having in your life. It seems kind of reasonable. When you look at it like that... You say, well, maybe I should limit the amount of sex, not to the fact of saying sex is gay. But if you're constantly having sex, that's kind of gay. I mean, honestly, if you're like, oh, I've got a Tinder app, I'm out there and I'm fucking people all the time, it's kind of gay. It really is gay. I don't mean to go off on a tangent about this, but people, they want to go around on the news and say, oh, look what this person said. It's so outrageous. It's so stupid. I mean, when you really think about it, though, you should be having the least amount of sex possible. Beyond procreation. It's kind of true. I know that people think that's cool, Rita. That's insane. It's not insane. It's pretty normal, to be honest with you. You guys are degenerates out there. If you have Tinder on your phone, if you have Tinder on your phone, you might as well delete me. You might as well unfollow me. You might as well get rid of your gross self. I'm out here. I'm trying to get laid all the time. But what are you doing? And I swear that Sizzle didn't tell me to say this. I was not out, it wasn't like out there, Sizzle, what do you want me to say to Mars so you can clip it and it'll look funny? That's just not what was happening. It wasn't, it wasn't like that. So, that's the thing. Life's tough. Life is tough. Uh, but anyway, you know what's more life is tougher for? When you're getting sued and you're Lizzo and you're getting sued for body shaming. And it's like, it's like the type of people that created this entire idea of body shaming are people like this. And I know that's no hate to like, I'm not saying, listen, you're overweight or whatever. I think you're a bad person. I don't think that. But when you start telling me that you're overweight and then I need to accept you like that, and that you just, I just need to get over the fact that you're overweight. We have a serious problem. Because I'm going to sit there and tell anybody that's in my life that, you know, if they're... If they're whatever, if they're out of shape, I'm going to tell you to get your shit together, okay? If you're going to ask me your honest opinion, because essentially when you go out there and you say, accept me for I am, that's my opinion. I'm, my opinion is that you should be okay with me being overweight. I don't really care. You know what I mean? I just don't care. I'm going to tell you right then, you're telling me how much I have an opinion about your weight. And I'm going to tell you right now, fuck your weight, dude. Eat more avocados. Eat more avocados. Get on the treadmill. It's not complicated. It's very easy, actually. So, I was thinking about later starting a space. Maybe we'll, after the reader report, we'll start a space. We'll go on the space. We'll go to space and we'll Twitter or whatever. So. But whatever, beyond that, you know what I mean? I'm not going to sit there and tell someone who is overweight, I'm not going to enable their sickness. Because, I mean, honestly, to me, I see when you're overweight and all that stuff, I see that as a sickness. It's an honest illness. You should be put in jail. You should be put in a medical facility or something. Whoa, whoa, actually. Not on my taxpayer dollars, though. It should be that we should take McDonald's and force them to 
open up these get well soon get 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 in shape courses they're gonna have to start running these sort of like what is it like biggest biggest loser or whatever they're gonna have to start being you know sponsored by mcdonald's okay because mcdonald's needs to help society get back to what it was like before mcdonald's because mcdonald's is mcdonald's is a massive easy it's a massive issue so whatever i don't care if you if you hate that or you love that but it's true it's true don't be fat anyway uh lizzo is getting sued. what i this is my tweet or whatever lizzo is getting sued suggests it will probably be not be a grammy year for our favorite body positivity entertainer so i kind of wrote it it's my first time trying to write stuff on twitter so if you're gonna hate me for that i'm sorry but whatever i'm trying to write my articles i'm trying to make you know criticize stuff but yeah i don't know if you guys know lizzo is actually like a two or three time grammy winner I have never listened to this woman's this woman's music. I don't really care to, to be honest with you. But her music is trash. I'm sure that I'm sure it's talking about a go get not just one meal but two meals, but maybe three meals at McDonald's for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I mean three per three per visit, three meals per visit. So she's out there. She gets like a mega meal, whatever. I'm not gonna make fun of the person. We'll just make fun of her her failings okay whatever because when we talk about otaku we don't make fun of otaku for being you know obviously himself we don't sit there and say oh otaku i'm sorry you don't really look that great you get my point so beyond that anyway the, gr the grammy stuff whatever lizzie say lizzie say i'm gonna read the the chat real quick so do you think Deo says, um, do you think South Africa will fully red pill Elon? I think, I think Elon's already fully red pill. He just can't come out there and say it. Like, eventually, he's just gonna be out there. White people are under attack. White people are the, are the minority. I mean, I don't hate other people of other races or anything like that. But the fact that they sit there and tell us we're the worst people in the world. We're dying out here. We're going extinct. You know, we're going extinct. And the people in Africa, the people in South Africa are literally is chanting at the top of their lungs to kill the boar. They say, no, no, that's racism if you point that out. You're pointing that out, you're racist. Hey, reader, stop being a racist. I don't like that you're a racist. I don't really give a shit. So, whatever. But even beyond that, yeah, we, I actually have that on my on the chopping block as well. We'll get into the boar stuff. Maybe we'll read more into that because I'm, I'm interested to know all the ins and outs of the board comments and all that stuff. So, and uh, laugh my ass about laugh my ass off, Lardo. That's that's a great name. It's not Lardo. It's not Lizzo. It's Lardo. Hello, my name is Lizzo, and I'm making terrible music on the internet. She reminds me of Ben Shapiro. If she sounded like that, probably Ben Shapiro. Send me your best. Send me your best Lizzo memes in the chat on discord tell me what you think about it or whatever tell me what you're doing um i'm not gonna focus on that i'm focused on the content but beyond that she's not gonna get any grammys this year it's over for you lizzo it's over for you i'm done with you i'm gonna get some flags or something you know what i mean like it's just it's not a good look for me out here so i don't know what to tell you let me take a look at the screen. Do I look bad? No, I look great. I think I look great. I think this angle is better. We just need to... Hold on one second. I think that's better. We're getting there. The news. I'm trying to see. Hold on. We'll do that. I think that's better. That way I can sit here and I'm not, I look at, keep looking at the screen. I'm like, I'm like falling off the screen or something. I'm trying to read something and I can't tell it to you. I'm trying to talk to the people. I'm trying to talk to everyone. I can't see all you're doing. I don't know what to tell you. The chat's going off right now. If you guys want to talk to me, I might join the public VC here in a second. Uh, I suggest you come talk to me because I'm lonely. Maybe we'll have a nice chess game with AJ. I don't know if AJ is watching or whatever. Um, you look more energetic than last stream. That's a great, that's great. 
Well, you know, honestly, I came in here, I got this. I don't remember what last stream. Last stream was bad because last stream I hadn't read the articles. I was gonna kind of do this React content where I came in and I read the article as I'm going through and I kind of react to it. I just don't think it works for me. I think I need to read the article, then come on here. I mean, like, look, it's been 45 minutes, 40 minutes, and I haven't even gone into the Lizzo story. We're still sitting here talking about whatever. Her quarter life crisis is over. No, don't say that yet. Don't say that my quarter life crisis is over yet because I don't think that's true. I, I, I think today I was waking up, I was like, I'm going to go stream. What am I, 10 years old? Is that like, is that, do you guys think that's cringe like, that I'm streaming? I don't know, to me, I'm like, oh, I should be like writing like books and like doing documentaries, doing like little mini docs and putting them on YouTube. But that's cringe though. I'm out here, I'm very off the cuff. You know, when I have to read a script, and I think, I think most people can tell when I have to read a script, it's not that great. When I have to read through something, it's pretty awful. So it's almost as awful as getting sued for body shame. But anyway, Beyond that, yo, read is back. I am back. Let's go. I agree. You agree. We all agree. Everyone, whatever. Lizzie say. Lizzo said that she made them sign NDAs so they don't even know if they have a proper case. Oh, snap. Honestly, you know, whenever someone has to sign an NDA, that uh, there's some trifling ass shit going on. Gotta be some trifling ass shit going on. Look more energetic than last stream. True. Uh, if I'll see if I can join because I'm not home currently, but I brought my laptop go. Let's let's go. Our boy AJ is out there. He's getting laid or something like that. He's out there on his laptop. He's getting ladies. I think we're going to start going for a pro ladies message, not going for like a pro incel. I think we got to make sure we're not. I was like, I just don't want to be this incel -y type message. I don't want that. I'm not interested in this incel message. You know, we got to get men to be more traditional and want women in a more traditional fashion. You know what I mean? I think that's not complicated. And women also are trifling. Women, women need to stop being liberals. Most importantly, women need to stop being left wing, period. But I, I'm going to tell you right now, I think it's possible. It's going to take a lot of work. It's gonna take a lot of work, but maybe it's possible. Because people they said five years ago, three years ago, we're not gonna overturn Roe v. Wade. But they did. They did overturn Roe v. Wade. So I don't want to tell you. But anyway. Uh wait, I'm getting off screen. Wait, how long will you be on not at home right now? Uh we just need to stop at the stop the cuckery. The cuckery needs to stop too. If you're white and you're dating a white girlfriend or whatever, stop letting your girlfriend have sex with black men or just other men in general. It's not even something you black dude. All men in general. It's all terrible. It's all gross. So I don't have to tell you. It is gross. Please stop doing it. I am I'm over it. I still have the nerf guns over. I think I got some other stuff too. Bigger plans. I think I'm gonna have the desk like out here, and it'll be more. You know, I have the mug, I got the coffee or whatever. We're just not there yet. We're getting there. So, Destiny is enabling cuckery. Agreed. Destiny is going out there and literally letting. This reminds me. I was I saw some. You know, I saw some things I didn't want to see. But I saw Sneeko's, like, nudes or whatever. And, you know, I, you know, of course, it's me. I'm going to take a look. You know, I'm going to take a look. I'm interested, you know, at that point once I've seen you naked. And I was like, there's no going back for Melina on that one. I was like, our boy Sneeko, he might be kind of gifted. I hate Sneeko, but you can't deny when someone's a little gifted. I saw the nudes, though. I wish I would have never seen them in the first place. Gross. I don't really want to see Sneeko naked. He's black. He's gross. He's degenerate. He's Muslim. It's none of these things that I like. It's none of the things that I want to look at when I'm doing whatever. So, some of that story. But anyway, anyway, the dancers, so this is from Yahoo News, the dancers state they were also allegedly subjected to false imprisonment 
body shaming, religious and racial harassment, and among other things. So we take a look at Lizzo. I mean, what type of racial, what type of racial discrimination and religious discrimination? I'm sure. Thing is, if you're working with Lizzo, you probably got to be black. You probably got to be, you know, an atheist of some sort. You probably have to support like, you know, pro-life or whatever. And that's what's going to come out. We're going to find out that Lizzo is just a libtard. No surprise there. So, but anyway, I said, I said that she was a thug. Because honestly, when you read that kind of stuff, it's almost like something you'd read from like 50 Cent. That's almost like 50 Cent and what they would be doing or whatever. So. Um... Well, anyway, I'm gonna wait. I don't know. I think Dayo was asking me how long I'm gonna stream for. Uh, I'll tell you what we're gonna stream for. We're gonna stream for essentially gifted now. I don't have to tell you. Anyway, um, uh, but anyway, the fact that she's getting, I just still couldn't get her the fact that she was the body shaming. It's kind of a joke. It's kind of nice because she probably, someone like her, some big girl, some girl that has some weight on her. Went out there and made it possible for you to sue someone for body shaming. Who body shames? That's the grossest thing ever. I don't have to tell you. Or who sues? Who makes this a thing? I'm going to tell you right now. Body shaming all day. Am I going to get sued for body shaming? I was at work. I was because I actually have a 9 to 5. That's the thing. There's nothing is people forget that I have a 9 to 5 job. So I'm out here. I'm literally I get I get I wake up in the morning. I get myself together. I get on, my, I get on the, the trolley to go to work. And I'm out here, I'm writing the stories. I'm literally writing the stories every moment of the day. I get, so, I, so then I walk to work. Sometimes I'm writing them as I walk to work. Sometimes I'm writing the stories, then I post on Twitter or whatever. Or I'm trying to like find the content that I'm going to post on the, like do for live. And I'm out here, I'm writing it over and over again. I'm writing it during work. I go on my 10 minute break. I write it then. I go on a 30 minute break. I write more then. I go then on my 10 minute break again later. Then I get off work. So during the time I'm at work, I can't write at all. So of course, after work, then I'll go on to the T. I'm driving home, still sitting there writing. I come down, I sit here, I try to eat some food to actually try and actually have something in my stomach so I don't look like I'm dying. But I actually am energetic. I think I look more energetic today because I have the camera sort of facing down on me or whatever. But anyway, I get on the T. I come up here, I'm frantically writing this stuff. I'm trying to find all the news. I'm trying to look up all the hashtags on Twitter. So I have the most current news for you guys. And it's never enough for you people. I come on here. It's never enough. It's never enough. Rita, we wanted you to talk about the Boers and they're going to kill the white people in Africa. Rita, we want you to come on here. We want you to talk about the indictment. Okay, well, I have to read. Well, I have to go to work. Okay, I have to do this stuff. I have to write tweets for you. Rita, why don't you post enough on your Instagram? Um... Well, I don't really have the time to do that. Rita, why don't you post more tweets so you can't catch up with all the other people because they tweet more than you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you want to take it? Do you want my, you want my, you know, midlife crisis moment coming through? You know, Dayo was in here earlier. He's like, oh, midlife crisis moment's over. It's not over. Midlife crisis moment is not over. So that's the reality we live in. I'm going to move something over real quick. So... And, uh, anyway, back to the news. Back to the news. I'm not, see, this is actually very well written. Okay, I wrote this entire article off for you guys. So, whatever. Apparently, Liz and her associate, Shanet, Charlene Quigley. I don't know how you say that name. Your name is stupid. Change your name. I don't even like Charlene Sh Quigley. That's actually a name? I don't think so. I don't think so. Intimidated answers into promiscuous acts that they were uncomfortable with, as well as belittling their looks. So I was reading some of this acts and like what they were making them do. They were making them like apparently Lizzo was like trying to get one of the dancers to touch, you know, like touch touch another dancer's boobs or something like that. Very cringe stuff. Very degenerate stuff. What, what were they doing? Uh, degenerate stuff. I mean, it's Lizzo. What else do you expect from these people? Hey, you expect the worst. The worst and only the worst. So, I don't, we're going to have to get Sizzle to tell me if Sizzle likes the new look. The Sizzle might like the new look. Where's Sizzle at? Oh, I think Sizzle's birthday is today. Can we get a 
Happy birthday, Sizzle, in chat. Happy birthday, Sizzle. People watching the reader report. What the hell is the Sizzle? Happy birthday, Sizzle. But anyway, yeah, no, she's making them like dancers touch their boobs or whatever. And um, I, they said, I think I have the uh, the the quotes up here somewhere. Oh, we're gonna get that. To be honestly, to be honest, I mostly wouldn't care about these people, these girls' issues, which is true. I'm trying to be a little bit more pro female in a weird way. I don't know. I'm saying like I'm trying to help women be a little bit more in touch with their femininity. You know, stop being like I need to shave my head and be a feminist and tell men that they're stupid and get uh, you know hooked up with my lesbian spouse or something like that because why well because i have to show myself as a strong woman i have to be a strong woman in the workforce or whatever bullshit okay bullshit okay go get yourself a man stop being a lesbian let your hair grow out you don't like that i don't care so that's my opinion on you stop growing your hair you know whatever so that's my reality on it whatever i don't care read it we get that you don't care, but whatever. And she's allegedly has had more dancers eat bananas that were inserted into their bonus holes. Is that true? That that has to be fair. So I got yeah, higher hex out here. Hex is the it's the technical team, the design team. Then he's also he's also the he's also the leader of what do they call that? The leader of propaganda and witchcraft or something like that. So, out here making the fake claims about the bonus holes. Why are you making a bonus hole comments all day? Making bonus hole comments out. I'm out here and watching you. Making bonus hole comments every single day of your life. Gotta call it out. I think I think that Hex has a fetish. For calling bonus hole bonus holes. I don't think it's a sexual fetish. But it's some sort of, you know... He gets off on saying bonus holes. No, and honestly, I think it was, it's that, it's that tweet. What did you say? You said something. We said that, um, Jamie Lee Curtis is the, is the bonus hole. It's kind of true though. Wait, she is, she is a bonus hole. She's trans your kid. We don't allow the transing of the kids here. Okay. I'm against it. I'm against it. I think it looks, it makes looks the trainees look bad. You don't like that? I don't care. So are we a fan? AJ, are we a fan of this new setup? You like how it's kind of a little bit more up. It's not directly in my face. I think it looks better. To be honest with you, I think it looks better. Rita, we don't like it. Rita, we just don't like it. It's not a good look for you. Uh, bitch, I'll tell you what's a good look for me. Not you, motherfucker. That's right. But anyway, we'll read this. We'll read an excerpt. Singer called, singer called uh, attention to her weight with a thinly viewed comment. That she was less committed to her role. So I don't know what that means when they say thinly viewed. I was trying to look around some other articles or whatever. But what does that even mean? Thinly viewed. Oh, I see that you're not keeping up with the McDonald's. I see you're not keeping up with McDonald's. I see you're not killing yourself and having high cholesterol and all this stuff. I don't think you're as committed to the role of being a fat degenerate. And supporting my feminist third wave, fourth wave. All the waves have got to go. The waves have got to go. I don't like I don't like second wave feminism. I don't like third wave feminism. I don't like any feminism. All feminism has got to go. Okay? I don't like the feminism. It's bad. So. Rita, why aren't you liking feminism? Because feminism is gay. Feminism is gay. Honestly, Hanging out with women is pretty gay, so. I don't know what to tell you. It's the truth. It's the cold, hard truth. So, whatever. But anyway, Sarah called it, so I'm curious what they, oh, this is me. I'm reading my own, I'm reading my own quotes, like, as if I need to give it some sort of demeanor or something like that. I don't need to give it a demeanor. It's not how it's going to work. The lawyer, Ron Zimb Zimb Zambrano, called Lizzo out uh, for this alleged hypocrisy in a statement. Stunning nature of Lizzo and her management team treated their performers seems to go against everything Lizzo stands for publicly. While probably she weight shames her dancers and demeans them in ways that are not illegal, not only illegal, but absolutely demoralizing. 
I'm sorry, but if I run a business, I should be able to berate you all day. I don't know. I'm kind of like, I know I'm not defending Lizzo. I will never defend Lizzo. Lizzo is a loser. Lardo out there making music, making an entire performance, being an entertainer based on like body acceptance. I can't accept that. Okay. Because that supports feminism, multiculturalism, postmodernism, more so not multiculturalism, m multiculturalism. Um, but I do have a story about multiculturalism. There was actually, I don't know if anyone's seen it. It was on, it was making the rounds on 4chan. But there was like, there was like a gay man that got killed by like Muslims or whatever. And it was just my old point was that multiculturalism, multiculturalism. I'm going to keep saying it wrong today. Multiculturalism. I plan to, I plan to write an article about that. I plan to go a little bit deeper into this band with Canada. Tomorrow's show, do you think show, today's show is a little bit more energetic, a little more action packed? Tomorrow's show is going to be crazy. Tomorrow's show is going to be insane. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get off the, I'm going to get off here at like six. So that's in like four hours. A little less than four hours. I'm going to do a little bit shorter of a show, but I'm going to come back. I'm going to do a little bit of tweaking because I kind of moved things around this morning. I didn't have enough time to get everything together. I was, you know, it was like setting up the, all the platform for you guys. So but anyway, whatever. Let's see if, let's see if um, Ramsey hit me up. I don't mean to get distracted. Let's stick into the Lizzo content. We'll get back to, we'll get back to Ramsey. Ramsey's out there. Ramsey wants to debate again. He's at, he was texting me. He's messaged me on Discord. We haven't even talked since I posted that video. I don't know, but that thing is, I haven't been on here since I talked to Ramsey. That was the last time I was on here. The 24 hour stream had me burnt out. I'm out here working for 24 hours. It was kind of a flop. It wasn't a good deal. I didn't get a lot of viewers. But we did get a lot. We got some subscribers. It was kind of like they, they kind of funneled in over time. But we're getting there every day is another step in the right direction because I'm not going to stop. I'm going to continue to write, you know, articles and do all that stuff for you guys. But you know, when I actually, I like how I ended this tweet too. The moral of the story, Lizzo is not Andrew Tate. That girl just can't go around tearing down women and expect them to be loyal to her. Which is true. Which is true. The thing is, is that she is going around there. It's almost like Lizzo had a drop off at the Andrew Tate you know, Hustlers University. She's out there telling women that they're lesser than human beings. They need to work on their weights. She's weight shaming them. She's putting these bitches in line, okay? And I know I'm out here, I'm like, they're like, are you defending Lizzo? I'm not defending Lizzo. I'm just saying, no, actually, it's quite the opposite. I'm saying that you're just not that quality type of person. Lizzo is, Lizzo watched him Andrew Tate got red pilled and was like, I'm going to start treating my workers like this. Because this seems like how you get stuff done. Uh, is you just beat women up and you just tell them that they're lesser than human beings. And you guys tell me that that's not a good idea whenever I tell you to go do that to your girlfriends all the time. Not to beat them up. Not to beat them up. We're not in, I'm, not, I'm not inciting violence out here. I'm not saying you beat your girlfriends up. But beat their moral character. Tell them, listen, you can't be a whore. You can't cuck me. That's just not how this is going to work, okay? So, that's the thing. Lizzo is gross. Some of the story is, she's not Andrew Tate. She's not a hustler. She's not a pimp. She's none of those things. So, she's going to have to be better. And this just is not great. It's just not a good view for her. So, whatever. See, what happens is they suppress links on Twitter. It's over. Or, I just suck today. Maybe it's to me. Let's go. David R followed me. Let's go. I don't even know who that is. I don't know who that is. New Balance followed me. I don't know who that is either. So. I don't know. I'll just tell you. We're going to delete this because they're just going to suppress that. They're not going to let it get out. Honestly, bot takes all day today too. I think what I've realized, I get better. I get better traction if I'm live. If I post a video with it, that works a lot. But beyond that, I mean, this is, I mean, there, I'm just still thinking about this article and like body shaming. What are we going to be able to be sued? Soon you're going to be able to be, oh, you, you're breathing someone's air. You're white. You're breathing. They're, they're soon. They're going to say, 
that, you know, white people can only breathe so much a day because they've stolen it from all the other races. They're racist. It's their privilege or whatever. They breathe more than other people, so they have to breathe less. They're going to put, like, a breathing tick timer on us so that we can just stop breathing. So. It's very true. Um, the banana thing is in a lawsuit. Wait, the banana thing is in a, is in the lawsuit? I don't know what to tell you. Hey, you're fucking with me. That's not real. The banana thing, they did not tell them to do that. Wait, I think I did read... Are you fucking with me? Someone sent me the article. I'm gonna need the article. I don't think... I don't think that's true. I think I might actually have the article. Let me look it up. Rita, you come here without... You're not prepared. You know the articles or whatever. Listen here, bitch. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll show you whatever articles I need to show up with. Okay? Let's go. Oh, yeah. They also banned... They banned swimming. Transgenders from swimming. Isn't that great? We ban the transgenders from swimming. Amazing. I would say just ban them from sports overall. Or women's sports from women's events. Let's go. That's amazing. I'm going to wait for them. That may be another story for tomorrow. See, I have three stories planned for tomorrow. I'm going to write once I get off of here. Maybe we'll go in some today. Maybe I'll make them into a show. It'll be a good, it'll be a good start or whatever. So, whatever. How are you guys doing? No one's talking to me in the chat. We'll go and join in the Discord VC here in a second after I read this other article. I'm going off. I've been going on for an hour. I haven't even gone into the show. We can talk about Lizzo. Lizzo is not the main thing with the show. The thing I know the most about is the Lizzo predicaments. But anyway, the post-millennial, they block. They're blocked in Canada. No, this is like kind of a sidebar. Because really what's happening in Canada is that Canada and Meta are working together to ban news outlets from posting on their websites. They're going to have to have some sort of like third party, some other big company post their content. They have to pay that company to post their content on Facebook or Meta or whatever, Instagram. Only happens in Canada. It's not in America yet. Which would be crazy if it did. I don't want it to happen here in Canada. So that's whatever. But beyond that, beyond that, what's happening and kind of conjecture with that is that we have this post millennials blocked in Canada's Trudeau censorship bill meta ban go into effect. So everyone's freaking out because they, I guess they trying to share some stuff on Facebook from post millennial. And when they did that, they weren't allowed to. Only these big corporations are allowed to shill out the content. They're all the only ones that are allowed to tell you. What is the news? What is what is allowed to be the news? And I was, you know, I was reading through, I was reading through some of the stuff, and they were saying like, oh, um, uh, the Canadians are calling it Chinada or China or Chinada, Chinada. Where are they there in Chinada? Like it's China mixed with Canada. Is that really a thing? Is that really necessary? No. It's kind of like the woke stuff. It's kind of like, oh, we're the anti-woke. We everything woke. Everything woke goes to shit. It's like, okay, true, but at the same time, kind of cringe. Everything woke goes to shit. I mean, I thought it was it was base when you said it or whatever. But what I'm telling you is that essence of it, the essence of what you're saying, is though not effective. It's just not an effective rhetoric. I don't think that. So when you say China, it's a, like this guy, Sean Richard. Ricard, whatever. Jordan Peterson was not here trying to share the suit's comments. Wasn't allowed to. I didn't realize that Jordan Peterson was on Facebook. Beyond that, it's official. Welcome to China. I just attempted to apply, reply to my friend's comment on one of my friend's Facebook posts with a link to the Post Million News ar article covering the million person march. And that this, then that this is what came up. Uh, is that news content can't be shared in Canada. Who? Why? Why can't it be? Why, why is this so? So, beyond that, Sizzle's on here. Don't read stuff. I know, it's hard for me still to read. It's kind of like, I kind of have to make it bigger. So I can see it from all the way over here. It's like, it's it's so small over there. But anyway, I don't really know what's much that's going into this, this entire thing. As Meadow permanently ends Canadians' ability to view news on its platforms in response to Trudeau's Liberals Online News Act. That was what I wanted to say. That's right. 
why do they think of the most basic stuff? Like, some of the stuff, some of it's great. They make, like, the Patreon Act. Not that the Patreon Act is great. Patreon Act is not great. It is trash. It is utter trash. But what I will tell you, as that the name is based, the thing is, the name is so good. The name is great. So. But when you look at this, it's called the Online News Act. Is that really the type of what we want? It's the online news act. Hello, we got we're gonna have around this online news act. It should be called like should be called like fascism. Fascism on social media, whatever. Because that's what it is. They're telling people, oh, you can't post your content here unless some other big company. They're gonna control who can and who can't put news on Facebook, which is cringe. So honestly though. In reality, the reality check of it all is that any of you watching or reading Facebook at this point, it's cringe. I know everyone that I, I think anybody who follows me is a, uh, is a Twitter bug. They're all about Twitter or whatever. So that's the thing. That is the thing, whatever. I don't know what to tell you. So that's the news. I think I've went off for quite a while now. So maybe we'll do a little bit more investigation. I know there's another otaku video out. There's a great otaku video out apparently talking about women and how he hates them, and how the modern day women are not good enough. It's kind of true. Kind of true. Oh, modern day women aren't good enough? Yes, very true. Um, let me see. So yeah, I think I'm getting blown out by the light over here. Whatever. It's blown up by the light. It's no good for me. And it's hot in here. I can tell you right now, you guys don't experience the heat with me, but the heat is insane. How long are you going to be streaming for? I'm um, probably going to stream until 6 o'clock Eastern. Unless things get crazy. There's no Ramsey conversation. There's no one to talk to. Beyond that, that's the end of this. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this show right here. I'm going to end this show here. Not the live show. I'm ending the reader report here. That's a good reader report. I think it was good. It almost went on for an hour. So I think I'm going to review Otaku content. So beta mail on the internet. So anyway, have a great day. Make sure you follow, do all that stuff. Follow me on the thing. Send me your subs. Got Haves in the chat. The chat's lit up. Let's go. You guys are missing on the chat. If you're not over on kick, you're missing on the best part of the show. So that's the end of it. But anyway, end of the reader report.